Hello, Professor. Um, what is the focus of AMS curriculum? Explore and develop analytical skills and statistical way of thinking. Actually, applied math more focus on real life problem. And uh, statistics way of thinking, it deals with uh, data science and well, actually it is a servant of every science. Then what kind of students would be a best fit for AMS? I think uh, you have a lot more potential than you think. I mean, the students. And uh, what really matters is their attitude. Uh, I like to have them to have willing to work hard. Well, as you know, there is nothing free. So they've got to earn it. I mean, opportunities don't just happen. You guys have to create them. Uh, actually, I had spoon feeding, so you got to work hard and hard work pays off. Why did you choose a BSMS program in statistics track? Um, in my junior year, I found interest in data science. Mm -hmm. So I searched about it and I found out that um, good in understanding in statistics can be a great foundation in becoming a data scientist. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I want to see a bigger picture of statistics. And I heard that uh, taking graduate uh, courses can be really helpful for me in this case. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the reason I chose the accelerated BMS, BSMS program. Oh, good. Actually, BSMS, I mean, master degree in five years sounds very attractive and uh, instead you have to work hard. But uh, I re still remember that you visited me a couple of times for your academic plan. And uh, yeah, I guess you made the right choice. Very happy to be with you. How did you join SUNY Korea? So I didn't know that I will study in American University when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. But then during my high school years, I realized that like many people are just focused on getting a good grade. But then, well, when I look around, mm -hmm. every classmate, they were applying to engineering majors, mm -hmm. but still they never studied physics because it's not a good strategy mm -hmm. to get a good score. Oh, yeah. And I saw such culture or atmosphere is uh, weird. Mm -hmm. We are not studying just to get into university. And that was the beginning uh, that made me want to go to different uh, paths, which was SUNY Korea. Good choice. <laughs> you made the right choice. I agree with you. They just concerned about the high scores in Korean SAT, right? So at this point, I'm planning to pursue a PhD degree, but um, what kind of jobs or fields would be uh, possible for me to apply? Actually, various fields. There are many opportunities that you can I mean, from my experience, more than 30 years, I can say that, uh, say, AI, artificial intelligence, finance, pharmaceutical companies, and what else, uh, international organizations. Maybe you are interested in academics also. Yeah. These days, academics and industry, they are working together. And, uh, well, actually, one of my students, former students, is working for uh, UN can be very attractive. So well, statistics is a kind of servant for every science. So you have many opportunities once you qualify. So don't be afraid of your future. Work hard, then there will be a lot of opportunities. Wongu, uh, well, as a senior in AMS department, you are kind of doing very well. And uh, what kind of advice can you do for your juniors? The, incoming students? Well, I really want to encourage them to go out from their cave. Like, they should not work alone or think alone. I see. So in my junior or senior year, I was so confused with what to do or how to study or how to build my career plan. Mm -hmm. But then it turned out those concerns were much simpler than I thought after having conversation with professors. So I think they really should stop like stressing out by themselves 
and get actual help or advice from faculty because AMS has a really uh, active interaction between faculty and students. So I think they can make the best out of their uh, university years by utilizing what they have. Oh, that's a good point. Actually, you visited me several times, right? Yeah. To discuss about your, your academic plan. I'll be very happy to see students and guide them. Well, we like to have a kind of success story and uh, we're looking forward to seeing your great success for your future in academics, yeah. Uh, I really, I'm really happy to see you here and uh, it, it was really nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Mm -hmm. Please have a seat. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming to my office hours. Thank you for having time for me. Sure. How is the AMS SUNY Korea associated with AMS in Stony Brook University in the States? Uh, we share the faculty and we uh, collaborate on teaching and research activities. And actually, next semester, two professors, uh, Hong Sik and Xiao Lin, will uh, co teach with us in four courses. And it's required that all students of our department will come to Stony Brook for one year. This will give great opportunities for students to uh, experience American cultures, uh, take new courses with new professors, and involved in various activities in the most popular applied mathematics program in the U.S. Do you have any advice or a message for the new AM student? Uh, I think new students should uh, explore mm -hmm. and uh, be familiar with the school, like library, uh, tutorial center, uh, career center, uh, advising, uh, academic advising, and uh, counseling services. Students, new students should participate in clubs, uh, stu school activities, department activities, uh, scientific seminars, and uh, the most important things is that new students should work very hard to be familiar uh, with the studying method in universities. And they should not hesitate to get help from professors, from teaching assistants and tutors mm -hmm. whenever they need. What do AMS do to support the student learning? Uh, we do our best to support our students in, uh, office, uh, in, in class, in office hours. And uh, whenever students want, they can make an appointment. Uh, we are ready to discuss the course materials as well as other things associated with their study and their life on campus. Mm -hmm. So students can also get help from a teaching assistant. And there are students who are volunteer to be tutors. So there is a tutorial center where students can get help whenever they need. Uh, Kotona, can you share with me why you decided to transfer to an American school in Korea? So my original plan was transferring university in the States, but I had to go back to Japan after graduating from my previous school. But like, I still wanted to continue my education and I also wanted to get American bachelor's degree. So we were looking for the university American university as close to Japan as possible and then we found this school and we also I wanted to learn some Korean culture and also the Korean language as well as I have some friends in Korea. So can you share with me the preparation you had to do while preparing for SUNY Korea? Yeah, so since I already have a some credit from the American college. It was not difficult as that I expected, but while preparing for the transfer, I was in Japan. So there is time difference between in the States and in Japan. That was the hardest things to prepare the transferring. But other than that, admission office in here, they helped me a lot to figure out 
what I need to submit and as well as the transfer credit evaluation. What do you expect from SUNY Korea during your four years that you will study here? So I expect to explore my education area, which is not only about math, which is my major, and also the other classes that I can take from this school. Also, I don't know anything about culture in here, so I wanted to explore Korean culture as well. Thank you for sharing with me. Thank you for your time. Yeah, sure.